Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how we can read a file, search for a record, and if we find the record that matches our search condition, we're then going to print out that record to the user. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import these four libraries because we'll be needing them for this tutorial. After that, we are going to be creating a function. We are going to do std string find record, const std string search term int field, and const std string file name. The search term is going to be what value do we want to find in a particular field that's going to mean we found a record that we want. Int field is going to be, okay, so we've got this value for a field that we want to find, but what field can we expect to find it in? For example, maybe we have favourite number and age as two separate fields, and we put 69 as the search term, but we want to specify that we want to find someone who likes the number 69, not is 69 years old. So that's why we're doing this, so we can specify the field. So if it's zero, it would be field number one. If it's one, it will be field number two. And then we're going to do um, string file name. This is going to be the file that we want to search. We're going to be working with uh, comma separated values in a text-based file, but you can customize the delimiter if you want to. So we've got a little bit of code here, but let's break it down. We're going to do std if stream in file file name. So this line, creates an if stream, which is an input file stream object, and we're going to call it in file, which is short for input file. And this object is going to be the file we're going to read from. Then we're going to do if exclamation mark not in file, which means if not in file, because that's what an exclamation mark means in most programming languages. Then we're going to do stdc out, fail to open the file, new line, return no match. So because we're returning a string in this function, which will either be the record, we want to return something to indicate we couldn't find it. So we can return no match. And not in file checks if we successfully open the file. If not, which could be because the file doesn't exist, then we don't want to bother reading the record from it because you can't read from something that doesn't exist, can you? Then we're going to do std string line. This line declares a variable line which will hold each line of the file as we read it. Then we are going to do a while loop. We're going to do while std get line in file and line. This loop continues as long as there are lines in the file to read. Each line is read into the line variable. So basically, uh, get line will return a true or a false. It returns a true if it's read something. It returns false if it can't read anything else in the file. And basically we pass in the input file stream, which is uh, in file, and then we pass a string we want to give that line to, which is going to be our line string here. Then we've got two more lines. We've got std is string stream ss line. This line creates a string stream from the line we just read. A string stream is an object that allows you to work with strings as if they were streams of characters. And then we do std string token, this line declares a variable called token, which will hold each field as we extract them from the line. We could have also called this temp, but I thought token sounded cooler. Next we're going to do std vector, std string and fields. This line declares a vector, which is a fancy array or a list. And this is going to hold the fields of the current line we're reading in the file. Then, then we're going to do while std get line ss which is our string stream token which is here and comma so this line reads fields from the string stream using the comma as a delimiter each field is read into the token variable and then we're going to do field stop pushback token so this line adds a field we just read to the end of the fields vector and this fields vector for each line we read just represents a record but we split up each field of a record into its own element of, a, of an array-like structure, but vector because it's fancier and better. And then it makes it super easy to interact with each field of a record. After that, we're going to do an if statement. If field is greater than or equal to zero, and field is less than fields.size. Um, so this line checks if the field number 
is a valid index into the fields vector. If it's not, we ignore this line and continue on to the next one. And inside here, we're then going to do if fields double equal search term. So if the field is valid, this line checks if the field at the field index in the fields vector equals the search term. You should totally take a shot every time I say field or fields. That could, that could be a fun drinking game. I, I'm joking, I'm not encouraging alcohol consumption. You should instead code and watch my videos. So essentially here we're checking if the search term is in the correct field of a record and that it matches. If it does, we found a record and so we return line. Otherwise we then carry on and read the next line. And this essentially is just validation to make sure we don't specify a field that's out of range. Underneath our while loop, we're going to do return no match because that means we read through the entire file and couldn't find a match. So we have to return no match. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do an int main method. So we're going to do std string record equals find record map one data.txt. And then we're going to do std cout record std and l and return zero. So we're calling the function and we're going to assign the result to a string. Then we're going to print it out. We've passed in map as the search term, one as the field and data.txt as the file. So that's basically it. But before we run the code, if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in File Explorer. This is where your project is by default. I'm putting my file here next to my CPP file. No one clipped that out of context, I've just realised what that means. But um, basically, this is your C++ file. I've put my text file literally next to it, so I can just reference the file name. You can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you get the folder correct, and the file path correct. So, if we look at the file, this is our structure. We've got values separated by commas, we've got three records, three fields per record. Let's test the code. And it prints out a record because it did find a record with map. But if we did a number two, well, it's no match. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for watching.